Well, parts of the midstate really did get hammered by storms last night with a substantial amount of more rain on the way. Tonight, we wanted to look at how to prevent one of the most common problems in storms. Sarah Wilson reports. This is just one example of some of that storm damage across the midstate. We're told by a neighbor that at one point a car was under this. All of that was on top of it and the windshield was smashed. Katie Baker came home from work last night to find this. Her neighbor's car crushed by a tree right outside her door. It was it was pretty freaky. No one was inside, so thankfully no injuries. But that wasn't the only scary scene Tuesday night. This is what it looked like in Peckway Township, Lancaster County, on Route 324, just north of Silver Mine Road. Rollinsville Volunteer Fire Company says a driver was stuck in that flooding. Amazingly, pulled to safety by neighbors. Turn around and don't drown. We have been saying that time and time again, and unfortunately we have to continuously say it because every year people lose their lives driving through flood water. And with Debbie inching up the East Coast, that's a concern. Every storm we end up having to pull people from their cars. Get a car just went over into Gamble Creek. With over 200 water rescues down south from Debbie, Annerline worries that could happen here. We don't realize um, the power that water actually has. There are certain places in Harrisburg prone to flooding. Because of that, crews are clearing debris from mid-state waterways. We're looking at the waterway, uh, looking for any major obstructions in that waterway, trees and things that may have fallen over the last several months to get those obstructions out so we have a clear path for that water to get from. And those areas prone to flooding that Ederline mentioned include McClay Street as well as parts of Allison Hill. We do have those details on our website and much more, abc27.com. For now in Dauphin County, Sarah Wilson, ABC 27 News.